What's up guys, Samsung have announced the Exynos 5 Octa at CES in Las Vegas just recently and this is right on the tail of Nvidia's Tegra 4, if not above it now. Um, I'm pretty excited about this CPU because, well basically, let me just describe exactly what it does. It brings 8 processor cores, that's right, 8. Um, now they're not all Cortex-A15, they're actually 4 Cortex-A15 and 4 Cortex-A7. The Cortex-A15 are the most kind of performance cores you can get. The, the A7 cores are the most battery efficient cores you can get. And they've linked them up in a technology built by ARM called Big Little. And it's awesome. It's so cool. I can't wait to see it. Um, I'm going to put a video in here showing they actually made a reference tablet and it's running Need for Speed. And you can see how well it performs with all the graphics. So you'll be watching that around now. Um, but the big little process is awesome. Basically, it uses the A7 cores for all the little tasks. So it uses four cores for all the kind of little tasks that you'll do, maybe web surfing. And when you're doing and when you're playing like games and like HD videos, it'll lock in the A15 cores um, and use, use that for just performance. And basically, what it's going to give is just epic, epic battery life. Samsung here has promised up to 70% lower power consumption compared to the Samsung Exynos 5 Dual, which is in the uh, Nexus 10. And, you know, it's it's going to be really, really powerful. It also says Exynos 5 Octa could, put, could possess as much as twice the 3D rendering power, prowess of the Exynos 4 Quad, which is found in the Galaxy S3 and Note 2. The Octa is going to be an absolute beast, and I can't wait to see this in tablets and phones. And you will be seeing this design in phones, guys, because that's what the big little architecture is made for. It's it's made for kind of smaller devices. Um, it's going to be great. Basically, you're going to get the performance when you need it, and then you're going to get the battery saving when you need it. So we should get a great balance between pure performance and straight up battery life. So... This is going to be nice, and I think this is a more advanced implementation than what uh, NVIDIA and Tegra doing with that kind of one companion core kind of in the background doing the smaller tasks. This is going to be more power efficient and better in terms of performance than that. So I don't know when we'll see this, but it's kind of exciting, right? So yeah, Samsung have really brought it to the table. Let's see what happens.